We're joined today by Dr. Stephen Prendeville, who is a double board certified facial plastic surgeon and medical director for the Q Laser and Med Spa located in Fort Myers in Naples, Florida. Dr. Prendeville, what's your philosophy of facial rejuvenation? Well, it's a great question. And most people that come to see me here in this area are very lifestyle oriented and they begin to see changes in their face. It was part of the aging process. And in an effort to, to look better, and actually really mainly to feel better about themselves, the, they may want to have something done, which is basically going to match their lifestyle and their physical characteristics, but they don't want to look unnatural. My job is to help a patient really feel better about themselves in a way, sometimes surgically, sometimes non-surgically, uh, in which they feel good, healthy, and confident, and like I said, better about themselves. That's hard to get sometimes is for confidence for people and. In- and that's something you are offering. So I, I really like that. How would you decide what to do for your patient? Well, there are a lot of common aging changes that we see in, in patients, let's say, after mid-40s, where, such as uh, changes in the upper third of the face, such as eyelids, the areas that convey expression. And then a very common area is the neck and lower face. And people will hold on to their necks and say, you know, my, my granddaughter grabs that and says that, <laughs> what is that exactly? So, you know, th- those are common ways that people describe it. Um, but one of the things I like to show when I see patients consultation is um, the before and afters. And often the patient after surgery just looks more confident. They just look more vibrant. And that's what people want without looking distorted because everybody's seen those people in the airport or in the country club or yeah. on TV that looks unnatural or they don't look uh, human anymore. No. And so those aren't my patients. want to reassure you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, exactly. And, uh, you know, we want to help people achieve their goals to match their lifestyle, basically. So are there any myths that surround facial rejuvenation versus the realities of what goes on? Sure. That's a great question because... Nowadays, there's a lot of advertising that's mm-hmm. concerned around you know, facial aesthetics, aesthetics in general. Um, and one of the biggest uh, myths is what we call the non-surgical facelift. And so there is, there are ways to rejuvenate the face which are not surgical, but they're certainly not and don't approximate what a facelift does. Okay, So when you hear non-surgical facelift, you're often hearing fillers in the face, which are fine. And they work uh, well for specific purposes, such as addressing cheek volume. Uh, giving fuller lips, addressing the lines between the upper lip and the cheek, or uh, addressing uh, lines of animation, such as what Botox or neurotoxins exactly will do. Um, Or there's energy devices, which can give some mild to moderate skin tightening to the lower face and neck. But if you're to say that they're kind of the same thing or produce the same result as something surgical, that's not really true. And so we have a saying in the industry that there are no shortcuts across the canyon, and there aren't. And so what I always tell patients, I uh, show a number of uh, different results, and I say, really, what are your goals? What do you think looks better? And you know, what would you like to achieve? Invariably, for most of the patients that I see, they're looking for something more substantial and durable, and that's what uh, surgical results achieve. But it's good that you give them a choice and say, you can have A, B, or C, this level here. Sure. And whatever makes them the most comfortable absolutely, is what you can choose. That's and perfect. Absolutely. And a lot of patients will come and see me and do minimally invasive uh, things like fillers and toxins and energy vi- devices initially, and then we'll work their way along towards surgery. And some people come in and say, look, realistically, what do I need? What do you think is going to last me the longest, et cetera? And of course, I tell them. So we're willing to offer both things, but we want to demystify what we do, and what results are going to be like. What great information. Thank you so much, Dr. Brenda. Thank you. To learn more and schedule a free initial consultation with Dr. Prendeville, please visit theqmedspa.com. That's theqmedspa.com. Or call 239-329-8437. That's 239-329-8437.